Former CEO of the Telecommunications Services of Trinidad and Tobago, Lisa Agard, was fired by the board of TSTT in November 2023 as the board informed her that it had lost confidence in her based on how the company responded to and handled the cyber attack of October 9, 2023. In her opening statement at the Joint Select Committee meeting on Monday, Ms. Agard said the executive was guided at all times by the network and IT team and issued statements prepared by the Brand Reputation Public Relations Department. When you look at the details of my submissions, you have to ask yourself, why did the CEO have to literally beg the chairman and the board of TSTT to be allowed to communicate with the public? after the 6th of November. Since by that date, I was mandated to get prior approval of the chairman and the board before anything was allowed to be said publicly. She said a comprehensive communications plan was prepared to inform affected customers. Customers were segmented into different categories, ministers, parliamentarians, permanent secretaries, enterprise customers, and the general public. The board only approved communication to everyone except the general public, claiming that it would strain the resources of the contact center, among other things. In any event, Mr. Chairman and members of the committee, no aspect of the communication plan was ever implemented. JSC member Richie Sukai asked the former CEO to share if the cyber attack in 2023 was similar to the attack in 2022 and the measures implemented after the 2022 breach to prevent another attack. Because 2022 would have given us sort of a, um, to raise the bar and standard in terms of security and data protection because we already had a first breach. Ms. Agard said while both were similar, the difference between them was the exfiltration of data and its public release in the second breach. After 2022, we engaged um, Checkpoint in a much deeper and meaningful way. They made a lot of recommendations to us to uh, purchase additional or enhanced platforms, some of which already existed in TSTT. She said Ernst & Young were also brought in to advise TSCT on all of the platforms that were being recommended by leading cybersecurity solutions company Checkpoint. $22 million was spent after the incident in 2022. $22 million. That does not include money spent um, on the Ernst & Young and it also does not include the cyber audit that was done by KPMG. Ms. Agard said the company was told that it was capable of preventing the cyber threat. Ernst & Young came in and said, you have a lot of capability and a lot of platforms in TSCT already that are not op being optimally utilized. You do not need to buy additional platforms. That capability already exists. The former CEO and CFO of the Telecommunication Services of Trinidad and Tobago, TSTT, both appeared before the JSC as it continued its inquiry into TSTT's management of the cybersecurity breach of data before, during and after its occurrence. Mahalia Joseph Wharton, TTT News.